Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P. Levin. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well guys, as we transition from fall into winter, you might find yourselves in need of a good waterproof, rainproof jacket that's not going to break the bank. So stay tuned guys. I think I got just a thing for you. Okay guys, so here's the deal. After about four days worth of rain, my wife finally decided to go out and get me a new raincoat because I've been bouncing between a couple different coats that I had. I didn't have a good waterproof raincoat or windproof raincoat or jacket that, or windbreaker for that matter that, that would work for what I needed. Everything was either worn out or it was just something that wasn't going to work. So she went to Cabela's and picked this up for me. This is $29.99. This is the Cabela's rain swept jacket. I was just going to talk about the design and some of the features and what you can expect if you get it. Now I'm 5'10", 5'11 on a good day. I weigh around 230 pounds and uh, 230 pounds. And uh, so if you're about that size of a person, uh, dad bod included, you're going to be looking at about a 2XL. And I believe it just comes from a small through a 2XL size if you go to the Cabela's website. And I'll show off some pictures of the Cabela's website here in a second. They make a version for men, they make a version for women. Uh, the material itself, it's just a nylon, polyester, vinyl, the entire coat all the way through. Um, it does have a few features. There's a few features it doesn't have that I wish that it did have, but if you want, again, a good lightweight coat or lightweight jacket, this is going to do the job. Now, it's not going to really insulate from the cold. Uh, it's been When it's been raining here, it's been down in the 40s, the 30s, and while it's keeping me perfectly dry through blowing rain and a heavy downpour, it does not soak through, it's not really going to insulate you from the cold. So expect a layer if you wear it, but using a 2XL, I've got plenty of room. I can wear a sweater underneath or a hoodie if I want to or multiple layers. The sleeves are great. They're not too short. Again, if you're kind of my size, I mean, they go right down to your wrist, which is nice. And uh, from top to bottom, we'll talk about some of the features. You've got a nice packable hood that if you wear it with the ball cap, it's going to keep the hood out of your eyes and you can work out. I was out in the wind last night walking the dog and the hood was staying down nice and tight and it was a good shield for my face from the wind and the rain that was blowing. Now, to keep the hood nice and tight, you do have some little cinches here on the inside that you can use. You can pull on the nylon cords and it's going to put some tension on the hood to pull it down on your head. So without it, it's going to be loose and all over the place. But the nice thing is the hood's attached. It is part of the jacket itself, so water's not going to soak through it. Uh, you can also pack up the, the, the hood and you can fold it away into the collar using the little pocket. So if you don't need the hood for any reason and this annoys you, gets in the way if it's bothering you, or if you're going to wear something else on your head, you can pack it away, which is really good. Weight, I'm going to say this thing weighs maybe 8 ounces, 9 ounces tops. It's not a very heavy jacket overall. You've got a nice sturdy zipper up in the front. I think it might be a YKK zipper, which makes they make really good quality zippers that last quite a while. I hate it when I buy a jacket and the zipper falls apart before the coat wears out. That's something that just drives me nuts. Now this is kind of a dual color jacket. You've got the green on the top and the gray on the bottom. They make a black and gray. They make a, like a navy and gray or navy and black. If you go to Cabela's website, you can see different, uh, different colors. Now, for pockets, I'm going to back up a little bit. You just have two simple hand pockets with mesh in them. They don't have any kind of hand warmers, but they zip up and they've got flaps that go over the pockets and that's going to keep the rain out, which is really cool. Um, as for the back, you don't really have any kind of gussets or anything for ventilation, but I'll show you the inside of this here in just a little bit. We'll get it up on hanger and show it off. Um, you do have the Velcro straps over the wrist, which is good. So if you've got gloves on, neoprene gloves or something to stay water resistant, waterproof, you can really pull that, uh, that strap down good on there and you can keep the, the, the sleeves from riding up on you when you're using it. So overall, it's, it's a great fitting jacket, a great feeling jacket. I can't speak about the long-term durability of a coat like this, but I can tell you that I've purchased quite a few items at Cabela's, Cabela's own brand of, of outdoor gear, whether it's jeans or coats or, you know, Henley's coats or, I'm sorry, button-up shirts and things like that. And I've never actually worn something out. I've, I've gotten, it's been too small for me. I've outgrown it uh, more than I've had this stuff actually wear out, okay? So the Cabela's brand, it's a, it's a brand that I trust for the gear that they make. And I know that they've been acquired by Bass Pro Shops and Bass Pro is starting to bring their own lines in, but this coat is still available on the Cabela's website. Um, 30 bucks price wise, I was overpricing them at Walmart. They've got kind of a basic packable Coleman raincoat that they sell for 25 bucks. Uh, some of their off-brand jackets are between 20 and 30. And again, I've never actually worn out one of these items. I'm assuming you got a lifetime guarantee with Cabell's if you keep your receipt and keep your tags if you want to return it. Um, now, the actual material, again, it's got this stuff called Foremost Repel or Foremost. And what that is is kind of a coating that they put on the outside of the jacket. Uh, you still breathe when you're wearing it. You're not like hot and clammy or anything like that. But the Repel itself works great. When I was getting sprayed with rain last night, when I came in, you know, I could just brush off the water and it was perfectly dry. You can tell if a coat's not very water resistant because as it soaks in, it's going to leave the spots in the material. 
did not happen at all with this. So for two days, well, last night and this morning, I've been through two different kinds of rain and I stayed perfectly dry. So this is not a long-term test, but if this thing didn't work, it was gonna go back to the store. I wouldn't use it. Uh, three items I would like to see on this coat in the future if Cabela's ever makes any changes. The first one would be some sort of like a horizontal pocket for a cell phone. It'd be nice to have that because when it is raining out, it's kind of hard to keep your phone dry if you got it in your back pocket. Now you can't really see it, but it does cover the bottom below my waist. It goes down about halfway. So it gives you a little bit of protection from the, uh, the wind and the rain. And I mean, overall, it's, it's a great fit. I like the fact I can wear multiple layers underneath of it and still stay dry. Again, so if you're going into fall, you want something that's going to be fairly lightweight, consider going this route. The other two things I wish it had was some sort of a waist cinch because when it's blown out and windy, it kind of flaps a little bit on you. And maybe some kind of elastic or something around the waistline to keep it closer to you. But other than that, I mean, I really can't complain. Oh, the last thing, you don't have any kind of an inside pocket, which kind of sucks. It'd be nice to have something in there. Maybe put a wallet or if you want to put, I don't know, your phone, etc. So you don't have those options with it. But if you just want something quick to throw on, something to stay dry, something to pack and leave in your vehicle, this is definitely the way to go. Especially where I live here in central Nebraska, where you can have literally four seasons in one day. And we have. We're basically just a little bit short of snow right now. We've had rain, cold, ice, nearly ice, freezing temperatures. And uh, the snow hasn't hit us yet, but I'm sure it's coming. So let's check out the inside of the coat, and then I'll just give you some few basic uh, little tips and pointers about it, and then we'll call it good. And uh, one more thing I'd like to mention real quick is when you zip it up, you have plenty of room for your neck. You could almost get a scarf on if you wanted to or some sort of a neck gaiter to keep your neck warm. I hate it when you buy some sort of a parka or coat and you zip it up and it's like tight around your neck. It doesn't happen with this. So this is going to make a nice barrier. It's going to be something that's going to seal you out from the elements. Okay, now let's check out the inside of the coat. Okay, so this is a little bit different angle from how we usually film the videos, but what's nice about it is you got this entire mesh lining inside of it that's going to keep it breathable. It's going to keep a bit of a layer between you know, your skin or your, your fabric and the vinyl itself. Now the sleeves, you don't have the mesh material, but you've got a nice vinyl coating on the inside also, and that's going to keep you nice and dry. Um, they've got good stitching on all the seams, and I think that's going to help keep the water out. That's another thing you can run into is if the stitching is poorly done, it can leak water in between. And that's not going to be the situation here. You've got the stitching right here and then also the stitching up on top. So that's something that you want to look for when it comes to a rain jacket. Again, I'm the kind of person that will buy a coat and I'll use it for five years, 10 years, depending on how long it'll last me before I actually wear it out. And again, Foremost Repel is the name of the uh, coating that they put on the fabric. And then uh, to pack up the hood, all you have to do is just roll it up. Let's see, where's that at? Oh, there it is. There's a little, like, little pouch flap right here that it's gonna go into. And just pop it over right there, and you have got your hood stowed. Now this is kind of the reverse angle of what you guys are gonna see but that's going to keep the hood out of the way. You can fold it up even better so it's even thinner. But again, that's one of the options that you have. So overall, I've been very, very happy with the way it works so far. Um, it does do a great job of repelling the wind. Uh, again, I just wish it had some sort of a horizontal or you know, a pocket in it to put a phone in, but it's really not a big deal. It's first world problems, really, when you think about it. But uh, if you're looking for a good coat, again, this is the Rain Sweat is the model. I believe it's a small through 2XL, but you'll need to check the Cabela's website. And I'll put a link for this code over on my, uh, my, my uh, Google Sites website if you're kind of interested in checking it out. Um, well, yeah, it does have a little bit of an overflap in it that's going to keep the wind and the rain out, which is going to be a nice seal. So there's, again, little features I look for because I'd hate to buy a rain coat and then have it fail in any way, shape, or form, and it just drives me nuts because I'm stuck with it. Uh, but again, uh, so far I've been really happy with what I've seen. So, guys, that is it. This is my quick introduction to the Cabela's Rain Swept Jacket. Uh, you can buy this on the Cabela's website. It is waterproof from what I've dealt with so far in the rain that I've been in so far. Um, but again, if you're looking for it, uh, just go to the Cabela's website. It's there. It's $29.99. It's got four different colors that it comes in, or five different colors for men and women. Um, can't speak about the woman's cut, but the men's cut. 2XL, if you're kind of a bigger dude, say you're between 220 and 250, the 2XL should work for you. The link comes right down just below, uh, just right down to your waist, which is nice too. So it's going to be the right kind of length that isn't going to be too short. And it's not restricted, but again, you don't have any kind of drawstrings to cinch it on the waist so it's either it's kind of a love it or hate it fit and feel but so far i like it so guys that's it thanks for joining us today quick introduction cabela's rain swept jacket if you like what you see please like or subscribe you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram gunchannels.com we're also on guntube.org uh gun streamer and youtube and uh guys that's pretty much it so i got a lot more videos heading your way as we transition into winter we're going to be doing a lot more shooting outside, getting ready for deer season. And uh, that's it, guys. I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, guys, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.